Thanks for staying with us for JPL in 30. The second match of Sunday's doubleheader saw both playoff bound teams Arnett Gardens and Portmore United looking to gain momentum heading into the final round of matches. Let's pick up the full match highlights. Rendezvous Jamaica Premier League action is here in the parish of St. Andrew. We're in the southeast end of the island of Jamaica. And the Anthony is in sports complex. Playing host to the second match of the afternoon on this Sunday. Arnett Gardens, the junglist, against seven-time champions Portmore United. And this is how Arnett will shape up. They're playing with a 4-3-3. No surprise there. Head coach Xavier Gilbert. And yeah, Jones, Willis, Cunningham, Wing, Thompson, Kahim Thomas, Nick O'Shea, Murray comes into the starting lineup. So too Kimani Arboin and Kahim Dixon. As we said, we are the number 24 leading the line in replacement of Fabian Reed. Rashiki Kelson completed the start in 11. Portmore United also suffered defeat at the hands of Veer United. It was the first time in 16 games that they suffered defeat. And they are like this. Tyrone Williams still between the six. Akila Howard, Stephen Young, Alvin Osmiles, the St. Lucian. Jaheen Rose, Akeem Mullins, Alex Marshall, the captain, Emilia Rousseau in that left side of the back line. Stephen Barnett, who will be looking for some more goals. Jamara Morrison, a creative element in the middle of the park. And Siobhan Walsh comes back into the starting lineup. Big deal for head coach Philip Williams as they will be playing with a 3 5 2. Full match highlights. Nicholson, the man with the whistle, Okita Nicholson. FIFA official early ball into the area from Portmore. Akeem, Akeem Mullins across to Okila Howard and try to hit that one time on the volley. And then this defensive mistake by Willis initially, and luckily he was bailed out by Wing and Edwards as Barnett and Walsh tried to combine. Rousseau and Walsh would combine very well though in the 19th minute. Not the best defending from Arnett Gans. Just look at that ball right down the middle. Center backs too far apart. And giving Walsh too much space. Jones needed to be tighter. He was never going to get into it. A shoulder to shoulder winning battle with Walsh. And Walsh made sure of it through the legs of Edwards. And Portmore with the lead. That was Walsh's ninth of the season. Then Barnett, lacking confidence in front of goal, couldn't find the pass. And it resulted in that long-range effort from Howard which was nowhere close Portmore in the first half continued to try and press the advantage Rousseau to Barnett and again Barnett was off target difficult technique it did the scissors kick and he came off the top of his boot and out of play Arnett had a stern team talk it seems from Xavier Gilbert and in the second half they were just a different unit this Right after the break, Kimani Arboin striking from an angle and just wide of Tyrone Williams, far upright. Then Arboin into Shepard. Jaheim Thomas finding the pass to Thompson. His first touch wasn't the best, but his second was good enough to find the back of the net. The far triangle, he found Thompson on his 23rd birthday, his third of the season, and on it finally drawing level at home. And Tyrone Williams beaten. Rasheen Thompson scoring against his former team. He spent a year at Portmore United and wouldn't have dreamed of scoring a goal like that. And it continued to press. Arboin again cutting in nicely. But this time he couldn't quite find the far post. The inside of the far post are too central on that occasion. And then this, look at this for a volley. A meter so away was Kahim Dixon, or a few inches I should say. Look at that, just curling away at the final moment. Probably might have been a bit too high. Alex Marshall tried to catch the goalkeeper Eric Edwards off his line, thinking that over him, but it didn't work out, just over the top. But Arnett Gans continued to press. This looked like it came off the arm of Fabian Reed, but in any case, his left footed attempt was comfortably over the top. And that was it. All she wrote for the 90 minutes. One all between these two giants. Some 12 Premier League titles between these two. But yet they couldn't break down each other more than once. One all at the end of 90 minutes. Four shots on target for Arnett from 11 at 10. Just the one shot on target for Portmore United from six. And they certainly made it count, didn't they? 
Akita Nicholson showed five yellow cards. There are 21 fouls in it. Majority of the saves made by Tyrone Williams. The corners were shared equally. And the position was in the favor of Arnett Gardens at 56%. But after 90 minutes, it's Arnett Gardens 1, Portmore United 1. Our man of the match for today, the birthday boy, Rasheen Thompson. Yeah, Rasheen Thompson, today's man of the match. It was a good performance from you, especially in the second half. You got your goal. How pleased are you to get that goal on your birthday? Yeah, I'm very pleased, very pleased. There's way too much, too much motivation towards this game. This one is personal. You say it's personal, is it because you used to play for Portmore United? Yes. So you were putting out a bit of extra effort, one might say, to get that goal today? Yeah, I was well pumped for this game. I know your team, Arnett Gardens, you know, you've been playing really consistently as of late. You've been putting in good performances. Do you think that your team is gelling well and performing well heading into the playoffs? Yes, I think we are gelling well. And what are your aspirations for you personally and this team going forward into the playoffs as well? Um, to get more goals and assist and help my team go all the way. Well, best of luck doing all of that. I'll be rooting for you, of course. And yeah, best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks. Much more action still to come as we go to another break. Stay with us.